if we could give them a uh, infrastructural support or technological support and instead of telling what not to do if we could tell them what to do with that device or what to do with that infrastructure i hope the parents from india the parents from even other state will come to the stage where they will feel the technology is not a problem technology is support for human development and as you that what you are sharing a day will come not only schools the education will be, will be given to their home directly with proper infrastructural support and we pray for that and we dream for that reality thank you very much <coughs> do we have a question yes oh, please hmm. here is our next question yeah i believe in santosh my name is samuel and um, i'm a faculty member here wow in sbia Mm. I just want to say that huh. I'm happy that we're happy that we have you as a presenter because it's always in a topic such as this, um, it's good to have a global perspective, yeah. someone you can ask. Yeah. You know, it kind of merges Dr. Ash's question and it kind of flips Dr. Shabazz's question. Mm. And um, my question is um, concerning the political support for an, um, for an initiative such as this. Now, um, India is a democratic country, so I wouldn't envision a problem there. But you have close countries like North Korea or countries like Burma, and we have a you know, military junta. So my question is, going forward, do you see, do you envision any political support at a regional or country level, or would there be more um, political barriers to doing such? Wow, a great, a great, great question it is. Because here, not only in India, everywhere the political support is required. And unless we get political support for the development of schools, the development of infrastructure, the development of whole school system, we can't fulfill our education dreams. So here what I did, I would like to share one of my experience. Students of different nation as well. So, so what you said is right. Uh, right? And we need political support not only from India, not only from one or other states, the whole government system of the entire world, if we could enable them, like a great professor, you know, great thinker like you, if they could enable the government system to build such global classroom for global connectivity, because we don't know the child what uh, the child who is learning in a small classroom where he is going one day. So I'm a uh, master's degree student here. And uh, in curriculum and instruction, and I'm I'm significantly about uh, Indian experts like math experts helping to tutor American children. So it's interesting to also hear about experts around the country to educating Indian children. Um, and my interest is: Have you explored any interaction or networking between Indian children and American children? Uh, kind of like a shared classroom to to broaden the exposure of American children to people of other culture or vice versa, it's like a, basically like shared classroom. Wow, it's a very interesting question. Now I would like to talk about the feelings. When we connect American student with Indian student, first time in the life, okay, first time in their life they are going to see each other's face, okay, each other's face. To actually bring them here in India, actually taking him to America in, uh, in, in the physical reality, it, it's a great challenge. But in virtual reality, through global classroom, it is easily possible and we did it. And we did it and we experienced the great change in st Indian student as well. Because the moment he was introduced to the student of America and got to know that he's expert in science, he's, he's doing great things in mathematics, his dreams, his way of thinking. Oh my God, great, great change in, even in thinking system. So we need to bring uh, these two students together and should enable, like how I started uh, talking to you and you started talking to me and it will bring a great thing, like how two, two, two atoms coming together. Similarly, these two children, if they come together, though you, you will find academic variation. Some things a mother is taking care of, the value system has been developed there. If these students 
talk together, share together, that sharing system will enable the interest of education, not only about education, even the life interest can be promoted and enabled. And the moment when we analyze that I am talking to America, when American students analyze and understand that I am talking to India, automatically our consciousness, our consciousness level will also be increased and we understand the feelings of each other, knowledge of each other and it happens uh, uh, in, in such a beautiful way. We tried in few schools and we got good results. Now through this conference I would like to appeal that if we could connect number of uh, US based schools to the global classrooms, to the schools of India and let us experience in a global way with the support of government and with the private support and with the support of great educators. I tell you it would be the great revolution in uplifting the education for the betterment of humanity and profession as well. Thank you. That's all right.